It's your buddy, Big John and G. Two Gun Fixit presents Legendary Gaming. Hey, it's Monday. It's about midday, at least here, Nissan Standard Time. And that's okay, because that's where I am. <laughs> so that works. So whatever time it is where you are, I hope you're having a great day. Thank you for spending a little of your time here with us at Two Gun Pixie. So today, as you might have noticed in the thumbnail, I want to talk about something that is, I have been a sucker for ever since I was a little kid. It's... It's, it's something I wish was done and utilized more often. In fact, a few months back, I did a, I did a, a midday Monday monologue on, on a board game that would very well use this system. Uh, uh, talking about a Spider-Man board game. So what I love so much is 3D board games. When I was a kid, I remember me and T-Bone playing a board game I had. I don't know if my parents got it for me or my aunts got it for me or someone. It was a board game based on The Hobbit. It was specifically based on the Ralph Bakshi cartoon Hobbit movie. Part of the board was raised. So when you got to a certain section, you're literally going up, you're moving up, plus it had these 3D standees, so to speak, like of the ogres and the spiders, and it stood out and stood up right there in the middle of the board, and when you were in that section, you couldn't ignore that standee, that ogre, the spider, whichever one it was, you could not ignore it. And then, <laughs> the 80s came along, and Dark Tower. <sighs> I've spoken about that a lot on this channel. And even the return of Dark Tower Kickstarter, which was highly successful, as you can imagine, blew out all the stretch goals, waiting for that. But I digress. That was also a 3D game, because it had the tower, right? And, you know, there's been a few other games over the years. Uh, currently, one of the more impressive ones, I think, uh, that, uh, that I've seen and I have in my collection is Firefly Brigands and Browncoats. And that has amazing use of 3D environment in the game. You see, the, the, the inlay trays are the buildings. And they're upside down. So you could fit all the components of the game in it. And when you take the game out and you set it up, boom! Take them out, flip them over, and you got buildings. I think that's what originally made me think about 3D Spider-Man game I spoke about a few months ago. And using that to make multi-level buildings with a little Spider-Man figure with maybe a hooked hand so, so he can hook onto the buildings, make it look like he's, he's wall crawling, you know? But that's an amazing game with 3D uh, environment, 3D effects to the game. You know, and I think it all goes back to that Hobbit game. Because what I said is true. When you have a 3D effect, environment, component to the board game, you have to look at it. It draws you into that image which in turn is drawing you into the game even more. Oh yeah, the game of life. That had 3D board effects and you know, the raised up parts. Yeah, how'd I forget that one? I really do wish that this is something that more companies moving forward would incorporate into the games. You know, I understand that they want to keep the production value down. So one of the ways they do that is they kind of give us cheap inlays to begin with. But if you want to give us better inlays that we enjoy, then do like Tiny Epic Tactics and Firefly Brigands and Browncoats did. 
and use a 3D environment, buildings, containers, and things like that, as the actual trays themselves. It's got to, if not balance the price out of doing both an inlay tray and a 3D effect, it must balance it out somehow, or come close to balancing it out. It is visually beautiful, so please, if there's any publishers out there, or people that know publishers, tell them this is something that's going to attract more than just the eye. Well, I mean, the game itself still has to be fairly good, at least. <laughs> you know, you can only put so much gold paint on poop, it's still poop. Uh, Alright, so what do you think of 3D terrains, 3D environments, 3D boards in your game? Do you think it's something that's just, uh, that's just, you know, a waste of time, something that's just kitschy or something? What do you agree with me? Do you think it actually does bring a little something more to the game? Let me know. I'm your buddy Big Johnny G for Two Gun Pixie Presents Legendary Gaming. And my friends, I am out of here. <laughs>